Hello. This is an update to uh, actually my previous video, which I have probably deleted by now, which uh, was about the firmware updates for the GPD XD Plus. Uh, I told the tale of how I had used a particular update and it had caused me problems and I'd solved it by using a different update and blah. Some of the information in that I think was not good advice and I have been given some more information correcting some of what I said. Um, so I'm going to pass all of this along to you and I'll, I'll kind of start at the start. GPD XD Plus, wonderful little handheld, I love it. I recently decided I was going to update the firmware. Uh, I got this particular handheld from Droidbox, they gave it to me to review. And I was aware that they had firmware updates on their website and the tools and instructions to enable you to do it. So I used their update and their tool to do it and followed their instructions. The tool to do it is fine. They've got the tool there. That's probably the best place to get it. I will be linking down there. Um, follow their instructions. Do not use their firmware. <laughs> Seriously, do not use their firmware. It is, you've got a 50-50 chance that it will cause you some significant problems in terms of your audio will disappear unless you plug headphones in and then when your headphones are in the audio will come out of the speakers and it may prevent you from logging onto the Android Play Store. They do have instructions on their site how to fix the logging in problem if that happens. I will give you the link. You shouldn't need it if you do what I'm going to tell you next. My solution to this, before I learned of a better solution, was to use the Clean ROM custom for I say custom firmware. Yes, it is custom firmware, really. It's, uh, it's, excuse me, I'm in pain. <laughs> I've pulled a muscle at work. Um, it's, it's like the standard GPDXD Plus firmware, except they've taken out all of the bloat but they've also overclocked it slightly and I installed that and I thought this is great performance was increased and it it is but instability I after using it for a time I found it was very unstable my my system it just kept shutting well not shutting down it kept turning off it just took one click to turn it back on again so it wasn't fully shut down but it just I don't know kept going into sleep mode or something or other um, and it kept dropping the Wi-Fi signal, like it would download a megabyte and then poof, gone, and you'd have to wait 30 seconds, it would wake up again, download another megabyte, poof, gone again. Nightmare, trying to download San Andreas, which was a waste of time because it still didn't work, um, or rather it was bugged. So anyway, yeah, clean ROM, don't recommend that either. The solution is the... Uh, GPD website. I don't know where I had been looking when I looked on the GPD website and couldn't find the firmware downloads because I did. I went to what I thought was their website and there were no downloads. However, I have been pointed to the right place, the right website, by two people actually. Imperial Productions, who is a very long time subscriber to this channel, and um, Simon Dickerson, which I th it, that's also a name I've heard, though perhaps more recently. Um, both of them pointed me to that site with the URL, link to that below. Um, the, the, their site kind of redirects, so whatever URL you put in is just going to put you to the front page and then you've got to lit, scroll through and go to the um, GPDXD Plus thing. You can get the downloads there um, and it's got the latest firmware and it's got instructions to tell you how to tell which version you need, which is something that was lacking on the Droidbox site. You just had one option and you were either shit out of luck or you got lucky and you didn't know which it was going to be. From the GPD site it will tell you how to know which one you need and that is really good. And I have downloaded it, I have installed it using the same installation tool and instructions as was provided on the Droidbox site just using the firmware from GPD and it works and it's it's stable it works exactly how you would expect I can't say that I've noticed any significant changes 
on this latest update of the firmware compared with the firmware it arrived with. I don't know what has been improved. I assume something, um, but I don't know. So uh, my advice still stands, if you've got a GPD XD+, Plus, unless you have got a very, very specific problem, I wouldn't recommend updating. Um, the, the latest firmware isn't going to make... If, if you've got a game that had graphical glitches, they're still going to glitch. Uh, San Andreas still glitches, you still can't play Radiant Silver Gun on the Saturn emulator. That's down to the... the improved hmm, the, the new graphic chipset. I mean the largely the only real difference between the XD and the XD Plus that I'm aware of is they used a different graphics chipset because they could no longer get the one they had been using previously but the new chipset is I, I would not say significantly more powerful but it seems to be somewhat less compatible so hmm, some things are better, that might be because the whole thing's running at a slightly higher clock speed, maybe, don't know, but anyway, my advice stands from previously, if you're thinking about updating, probably better not to, but if you're going to, for goodness sake, don't use the, don't use the firmware from Droidbox, go to the GPD site, and I also would not recommend Clean ROM either, um, very unstable. Pain, ouch. Okay, yes, I will shut up now. Um, that was just a quick update. I'm going to delete the old yesterday's video because I think that might encourage some people to install some firmware that would not be in their best interest looking back at it now, having used it a bit longer. Mm, okay, thank you for watching. So I said, you can just stick that joystick right up your... Oh, hello! Um... I'm Isambard Montague the Third, and you've been watching Steve Benway, Retro Gaming Collector. If you'd like to see more of his videos, click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to catch up with some of his 1500 videos in his back catalogue, have a look through his playlists. Right, that'll be 50 quid.